planning a trip. It's Labor Day weekend. Today's Saturday. Hurricane Dorian is uh, barreling towards Florida, but now I think it's barreling towards Georgia or South Carolina. So we should be in the clear. There's a little bit of wind and it is one o'clock. Yeah, so that's the situation and hopefully we can get on the water in uh, half an hour. Get blown. All right, what do you want me to do? It's 2.35 and it uh, looks like we got some weather. Hopefully it's cold. We'll get out of the harbor. A lot of wind, which is good in a way, but it's blowing the sailboat. So I'm gonna go help David figure out how to turn around. That's your buddy Sean at the gas station. Oh wow, look at that.
bridge just in time for the sunset. Several boats here enjoying Labor Day weekend. I hope we have a good night. There's some clouds on the horizon. Dorian's still climbing up the Atlantic coast of Florida. And that is our aviance. Good morning. It's September 1st. We had a, uh, a night out here on the water. So far, it seems like everything just doesn't want to start when you turn the key, so to say. But that's all right. Dave is able to figure it out. He got the um, engine started on the boat, got the generator started, and he just got the dinghy started. So I think he wants to go for a little ride. Everything's tucked away nicely. Sails look good. We got the windsock, but underneath the windsock is a air conditioner, which is didn't work so great last night, but uh, worked it pretty good this morning. This is our anchorage. It's like a little sliver of land, but it seems to be protective. We'll find out this afternoon. We're expecting storms. Sand Island Lighthouse. And it's right there in the middle. Looks like a pencil. I guess that's my cue. You know he loved his land. He 
worked real hard, but he never lost his faith. Cause he raised up his family Right here in the good old USA Oh, I was wondering what the um, ground looked like. Sandy. So, what you doing? Go swimming. Oh, oh my God. You just jump in the water anywhere, don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, have fun. Land! Here's our cute little engine. I can't believe we found somebody else with the same engine. Yeah, that's pretty cool. He said it doesn't work. Yeah. But it looks good. But it looks good. Yeah. All right, so I'm in the water. Sort of sandy. We've actually used our lot at work. We, when we broke down the first time with the oil thing, we used it then to pull the back end around. Remember? Mm -hmm. So there's some interesting little homes here. Not sure who lives in there or in here. This is, he's got a two story condo, I think. So the bottom is sort of sandy and muddy at the same time. to this very inexpensive engine it's a 3.5 horsepower Hankai Hankai um, and it cost about less than $200 you've got a on and off switch here let me see on and off switch there you've got this little bubble like that you pump to get gas into the engine and then um, this is your throttle. The throttle, the engine doesn't start going until your certain RPMs. And you hold at those RPMs to go forward or backward. To go in reverse, you turn the engine around and you do the same thing. And so does backwards. the throttle, is it backwards or is it always the same? It's backwards. Well, yeah. the engine's backwards, but it's always righty tighty lefty loosey right um but you always forget turn the engine on pump it up and can you feel the pressure yeah and then you hold this full throttle or if you can
woke up around 8.37 probably, actually. And made some breakfast. And David is up front pulling the anchor up. And I am at the helm. Waiting for his commands. And uh, a little sad to be leaving. We have a little bit of a breeze coming from the north. And that's not good for getting home because we're going to be going into the west. Moving forward. And we're pulling the anchors. Leaving our beautiful anchorage for the day. We'll be back. We get one last kiss. What? Yeah. Tell, tell me about it. Oh, it's just fantastic. Nice, relaxing. The cool. crab was fantastic. Oh, I caught a crab. Yeah. Yes. It was good. And we cooked it and everything. Yeah. So close, and I guess I wanted a little bit more. 
dreamer His folks arrived on a steamer You know he loved this land He worked real hard But he never lost his faith Cause he raised up his family Right here in the good old USA